Good morning. Several drug raids Wednesday around Chautauqua County. A total of six people arrested. What you need to know. Governor Cuomo introduces a program that will make some college graduates first-time homeowners. And Congressman Tom Reed will hold two public forums in Chautauqua County. This is News Now, Wednesday, May 4th, 2017. Live and on demand. It's Morning News Now with Justin Gould and Storm Hartman. Good morning. It's 51 degrees with cloudy skies in Jamestown. I'm Storm Hartman. And I'm Justin Gould. Several area drug dealers arrested in raids on Wednesday. That's right, Justin. Sheriff's Office says two key players in a large cocaine distribution network have been arrested. 26-year-old Michael Pacheco and 29-year-old Fred Santiago, both from Dunkirk, were caught with lots of cocaine following two separate raids. Sheriff Joseph Gerasi telling us the investigation took nearly two months to come together. It's a lot of work. It, it's time consuming. It's uh, a lot of man hours, a lot of surveillance, and then it has to be done perfectly so the prosecution holds up when it goes to trial. The first raid occurred at Pacheco's residence on Vineyard Avenue in the town of Dunkirk. There, police seized almost five ounces of cocaine. A majority of the coke was seized at Santiago's house. Nearly two pounds was confiscated. In addition, police found scales, bags, and cocaine press machine. The street value of the cocaine seized was nearly $60,000. A search of Santiago's house on Lincoln in the city of Dunkirk also netted $46,000 in cash. Both men faced state and federal drug charges. Both were arraigned. Santiago was held without bail. Police say there could be more arrests in this case. And in southern Chautauqua, the Jamestown Metro Drug Task Force, along with the state CNET team, arrested four people on Wednesday, two in two separate raids. Our Ryan Hedrick is at the scene of one of those raids with the latest. Just in this house behind me, 510 West 6th Street, was actually the second of the two houses raided on Wednesday morning inside three suspects caught with crystal methamphetamine. You see them on the screen, 27-year-old James Blue, 23-year-old Sheldon Harper, and 31-year-old Lakia Boyd are all facing drug charges. Now, we spoke to Jamestown Police Captain Robert Samuelson moments ago. He said there are victims in this case. They are the two small children who were caught inside when police batted down the door. First thoughts are the welfare of the children, and in, in this case, it was no different. Uh, the kids were place with a family member and child protective services will be following up and uh, unfortunately it is part the sad part of this is, is that when the children are involved uh, they are the true victims the two children belong to 31 year old Lakia Boyd these suspects are in court this morning to be arraigned in front of a judge police captain Robert Samuelson says CPS is now involved in the investigation reporting from 510 West 6th Street in Jamestown where there was a drug raid Crystal meth found in that house back there. I'm Ryan Hedrick, WNY News Now, where coverage comes first. Ryan, thank you. About an hour before police entered that house, they served a warrant at 839 Prendergast Avenue and seized 14 ounces of marijuana and nearly $7,000 in cash. 19-year-old Armando Jenkins was taken into custody. He's facing felony possession of drugs. New York State wants college graduates to become first-time homeowners. Governor Cuomo has introduced a special program available in eight cities, including Jamestown. State officials say the new program will feature low interest rate mortgages, a down payment assistance loan with no additional fees, and a home buyer education course. Straight ahead, Area Congressman Tom Reed is set to hold two local town hall meetings this weekend. But first, a look at your skyline weather forecast. Let's start off with the big story in the weather department, rain. This is the forecast rainfall valid through Monday of next week. Latest guidance suggests some spots could see upwards of about two inches during this five-day stretch, with most of that coming tonight and tomorrow. It's just going to be a soaker, which is not good news because the ground is already very saturated from recent rainfall. And you probably didn't think we'd be whipping out this map in the month of May, but the idea is on the table that some of the rain showers Saturday night into Sunday morning could mix in with some wet snowflakes, especially along the 
higher terrain areas of the southern tier. Good news here is that the snow will just be too wet to allow for any stiction, but you could see some wet flakes fly in over the weekend. The forecast, scattered rain showers developing by the afternoon, becoming more numerous by nightfall. Highs around 54, which is still below average for this time of year. For tonight, rain continues. We'll pick up about another half inch of rainfall. Lows in the upper 40s. And for tomorrow, widespread rain continues with some heavy downpours at times and becoming breezy as well with that east-southeast wind cranking up around 12 to 16 miles per hour with highs in the upper 50s. From the Skyline Weather Center, I'm forecaster Dakota Hunter. Morning news continues right after this. EagleZip.com is your local one-stop shop for all of your home and business computer needs. Located on Fluvanna Avenue Extension, just outside of Jamestown, EagleZip.com sells and services all brands of desktops and laptops, as well as servers and network equipment for your business. All new computer sales include transferring your data from your old computer plus a two-year warranty. Call EagleZip.com today. Stop by EagleZip.com today and let us make computers easy for you. Area Congressman Tom Reed will hold two town hall meetings this weekend in Chautauqua County. Reed's communication director, Samantha Cotton, telling us that the first meeting will be at 9 a.m. in the West Dunkirk Fire Department located on Willow Road. The second in Busti at the Fire Hall on Mill Street. That's starting at 1130. Now, some topics expected to be discussed. The GOP health care bill. In a conference call earlier this week, Reed said the bill is very close to having the votes needed to pass. After the Facebook killer Steve Stevens saw, shot an unsuspecting elderly man in the head on Facebook Live, Facebook CEO's Mark Zuckerberg has plans has plans to implement a new safeguard for the for the platform. In a post on his Facebook page, Zuckerberg said, "Quote: It's heartbreaking." And I have been reflecting on how we can do better for the community. The social media giant CEO plans to hire 3,000 more people to help moderate the platform. He also plans to make it easier for users to report videos and content that violate their community guidelines. And Jamestown High School seniors recently had their artwork selected for the Albright Knox Future Curator ex Exhibition. Shine Day Harder and Brianna Raymond recently had their artwork selected part of the Future Curator exhibit. You see these photos here. They were selected out of 700 other submissions throughout the region. These young artists created their work at a JHS drawing class, that part of a JCC College Connection course in Storm. This is the third year Jamestown High School has submitted work to this competition, and each year so far, the work has been accepted so quite amazing there yeah there's a lot of talent here in Jamestown for art it's not something that seems to get talked about a lot but if we look up and down third street there's plenty oh, yeah. of paintings I mean right here by the office we have you know a beautifully painted map of uh, Jamestown yeah and we have some artwork out in Potter's Alley as well mm -hmm. like we we changed our parking situation a little bit today and we're parking over in that area and I, I just I knew about it but just looking at it again I'm like wow it's incredible. Yeah, Just it's incredible. always nice to see. Yeah. So we will be back tomorrow with the TGIF edition of Morning News Now. In the meantime, follow us on social media at WNY News Now. Like our Facebook page, where more than seven people have already, already have 7, WNY News Now, where coverage comes first. And may the 4th be with you.